met in July, and for once, I was not the one running late. You burst into the production office, sheepish, as you took my breath while recovering your own. I knew then it was all over for me. We had both grown used to navigating the world through a camera lens. Everything seemed more alive, more important with the click of a button, a set of memories lining up to be developed. We're going to need a bigger darkroom, you said, and I wondered if you knew how much you'd already begun to seep into the negative spaces of my life. I labor now over these thoughts, a dizzying array of the times you've built me up and let me down dodging and burning our promise until it fits neatly into the frame you've built for it. There was a time when all that mattered was driving up a mountainside with you, sun dappling the windshield and our laughter echoing out. But every action has its equal and opposite, and it is years later before this equation makes sense to me. I am curled up and sobbing, the shower pounding down hot streams on my back, and I wish I could slip through the drain as effortlessly. I am lost again in your desertion, and you have caught a flight west, careening recklessly through the steady rapids of avoidance and self-imposed amnesia. You are always leaving me. Yet I know I have played a part in my own devastation. I flew too close to the sun. I sought my other half too urgently, and it's hard to say now whether Aristophanes would have laughed or cried at my efforts. I was, after all, the one to let you creep in unannounced with all your charms and whispered words. I let you introduce me to that abandoned roadside motel where we spent hours picking through its battered remains, taking photographs, comparing shots and stories. You were mesmerized by the destruction broken tiles and tin cans, while all I could see were the green stems striving through the wreckage toward the sun. Our favorite room had taken me to Neverland etched into the peeling paint. How poetic, we thought, with the distance and romanticism that is only possible before the fall. We had no idea then that we too would have to grow up, shedding our shadows for sorrow.